Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Weird, eh? this new system. I cannot even type comments to you guys anymore because of this Google Plus thing. But nevertheless, uh, I don't have to check my inbox anymore because, you know, there's nothing there to check. Since the 6th of this month, I never received a command anymore because everybody has to go to Google Plus to, to create a, a something and then they can talk but I don't have that so probably I'm not allowed to talk back but anyway people today we're gonna talk about how to kickstart them 3.7 little batteries you know sometimes you have a, a little battery of your Samsung or maybe from your old smartphone this is the C600 great phone yo I remember when I had this phone People didn't have smartphones, yo. This was like classy, one classy phone, you know, the C600. But since uh, a while, you know, I can put it for 24 hours, 48 hours to the USB connector, you know, and try to um, charge this thing, but it won't come to life anymore, you know. The battery is completely dead. And such a nice device, you know, you can press whatever you want and if you also put your tongue it's completely dead nothing there so how to fix a battery like this this is by the way a 3.7 so this is only for the 3.7 lithium how do you say that I cannot even pronounce it too good lithium batteries yeah it's for batteries of 3.7 volt okay this one has 1150 milliamperes so what we're gonna do I'm gonna teach you how to kickstart kickstart a battery did you know that you could kickstart a battery yeah this battery is in a kind of sleep it's yeah really sleeping and if we won't wake it up it will never wake up but there is a way how to wake it up and that is not uh, by warming it up or putting it in the Sun or hitting with a hammer on it or throwing it in the in the room no that won't help how to kickstart it well I have a device that I want to introduce to you today and uh, it's um, the DigiChar 20 this is it it's a little beautiful device that you can buy here in Holland at the Onderdelen House at the Ebbingenstraat in Groningen my city and uh, I bought it in fact to um, to um, to put power into a battery of my Samsung S1 a really ugly one that I got for free <laughs> glass is broken the thing had no sound fixed the sound by the way and uh, yeah the glass is I don't know if you can see it it's, it's broken the glass you see but I made the iPhone 5 from it and uh, well it's it's really it's re it's really nice it's playing I fixed the sound, sound was not working, fixed the sound, uh, yeah, and I had a problem with the battery, battery wasn't loading, so, you know, I kickstarted the battery with this device, so you're like, kickstarting, what the heck is kickstart, well, if your car loses its battery and it's completely empty, and you get a friend to help you, you know, it will put the power cables on your battery and then, you know, while his car is running, you will shoot, 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 and then your car will start and then your um, alternator will start charging your battery again, okay? Okay, in this case, it's a little bit uh, the same, it's almost the same, only there are no charge ca charging cables, this is a device that you will use to kickstart your, your battery. So how to do it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, if you have the battery, so let's let me bring the battery here for you, so you can take a look at that. You see here, this is the battery of my C500 that I just brought to life again, and I thought I must make a video to show you guys. This battery, yeah, is not the same as this one. It's the same, but you know, 
these are two batteries this one is a little bit warm because it's already charging this one I just brought back to life you know and I'm gonna prove it to you because we're gonna put this one into the in the phone but not as yet first I'm gonna show you how to kickstart a battery like this okay as you can see up here you see two little legs I don't know if you can really see it but these are the two legs these two legs here they are adjustable means that you can put them um, on the right connector and as you can see here at the back yeah this is what is this this is plus and this is minus the battery can only go in one way you understand you could also put it like this but then you have to put these things all the way there but this is the right way all right because um, um because i think the first one is also plus but i'm not even sure okay but what you're gonna do you're gonna first make sure that the that the two sides the the two the two end uh, connections that these will make contact with um this thingy here so you will have to you know put it in place and see i already did it because if i will connect these two now then you will see nothing happens so I must do it a little bit better you see that the battery light went on but then we let go of it like this we put it again we let go we put it again what we do now we're kick-starting the battery See the light is on, we're kickstarting it. You do that sometimes like this and then you hold it a little longer, you let go of it, you do it a little bit more, bam 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 like wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up time to wake up time to let my my old phone work again and then you hold your hand here at the back and you click it like this and you leave it and I'm gonna show you that um, the result of this one this one was completely dead and I'm gonna put it in this one now you can always feel with your tongue if it has a little bit of uh, power inside this one has a little bit of power I just kick started it you know it needs to infect Oh, there she goes she's starting see that and as a matter of fact the other battery will also start soon so um, yeah this phone I can use her again it was one of my favorite phones it has uh, no uh, 3G or whatsoever no 4G but it's Windows Mobile and um, yeah this was uh, one of the most advanced phones of 2005 I need to put a sim card inside otherwise I cannot continue <laughs> okay oh there, there I am I'm in I'm in this was before the iPhone eh? this is the uh, what was it one two three four I think yay I'm in see that and I can get back all my numbers and all my stuff oh I'm so really happy let me see I still have contacts in here wow look at that all my contacts are still there since 2005 this phone is really really old I see names there that I wow who are these people Puck iPhone Ah, oh, so at that time this I, I had the iPhone Tiffany I see many people here on my list Farid what is that what is he doing on my list Miranda where I get all these people man Sabina Tam oh I like it already I'm really happy uh, I have my uh, old phone uh, working again 
and if you have an old uh, device that needs uh, and with batteries that needs a kickstart well this is the way how to do it and what you need is um, the H quality the high quality DigiTart 120 the DigiTart 120 and for my Nederlandse vrienden dit kun je kopen hier in Nederland bij onderdelenhuis in Groningen maar ook waarschijnlijk op andere plekken zoek het maar eventjes de DigiCharge het is een mooi apparaat kost 20 euro I was saying you can buy it here in Holland cost about 20 euros that's about uh, 25 dollars I think something like that so I think this is a real nice device because I never thought that I would ever ever fix this phone well let this phone live again because they are selling these batteries but you know like 15 euros for one battery I mean like yeah I'm really happy that she's back alive. I'm gonna take her apart and then I'm gonna paint her. I'm gonna make it a red SPV. Mm, so nice. So that's how to do it, peeps. Uh, fix your batteries and fix your phones. And you know, if you don't have this thing and you also want to do the same thing that I just did, what you then need to do is take a USB cable, one with a plug, you know something like this and then cut it and then you will find a red and a black wire yeah that's positive and negative and then you take the battery and you put the positive on the positive the plus and then you the negative like this you do that 10 times and then you hold it a little bit longer pop, 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 pop. and then you put it in the charger and then your battery will wake up again and charge so that's how to do it it's the only safe way to do it be very careful with these kinds of batteries because they can explode if you go and put different power on it you know more than uh, i don't know maybe some people think maybe i'm gonna put some you know some extra 12 volt on it or so it can explode in your face so be careful don't get no accidents there but that's the way how to fix an old lithium battery from 3.7 volts thank you for By watching the way, i Bye. forgot to tell you um of course when the battery is kicking the phone on again then you can put it to the charger again and charge it through usb so that is no problem and the other battery that we just put inside i'm gonna open it now it's been like 15 minutes let me taste yeah yeah this one also has power this one also has power there we go let me see if i can kick this one on then i can also put it on usb yeah you see that <laughs> now i have to bolts are working now and if you think this is some stupid trick then don't ever watch my videos again you hear me this is no trick i really fixed it i could not 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 i repeat i could could not hang this thing to the usb and then charge it i was charging it for a whole week nothing happened this is the way the only way how to kickstart your batteries that don't want to you know your lithium batteries from 3.7 volt that's the way how to fix them and no other way <laughs> the SP, SPV C500 and the C600, brother and sister, kiss kiss. At that time Android wasn't born yet, at this time iPhone wasn't even created yet. Oh, I love you guys. So, bye bye, see you next time. And this is the way how to do it, and not in the other way, okay, bye.